<laughs> hey guys, um, welcome to our first ever live story time with Miss Jess. Um, yeah, our vision kind of for this time and opportunity is just one that I really want the kids to know that I'm legitimately missing them. Um, so kids, I miss you. I'm really excited to be with you in person again. Um, but also just kind of a midweek interaction to talk about uh, whatever it, whatever that is. This week we're just going to read a little story, say hi, um, and a chance to kind of wind down. Uh, spend some time thinking about praying, um, thinking about Jesus, praying to him, whatever that looks like. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited just for this opportunity. On Wednesdays, 3 p.m., it's going to be a regular thing. It might not always be a story. It might be different. Um, now it might be different next week. I don't know what that looks like. Uh, but yeah, just kind of a chance for the kids to say hi, to see what's going on. Um, I'm really excited. Today we are reading the tale of three trees. We will get to that in a minute. Um, one thing just for parents to know as we get started the first thing I want you guys to know is to check your emails. There will be a, um, I'm sending out an email this afternoon, just with some community resources, ways for kids to get involved um, in giving and serving. Um, some learning opportunities for us as families, for parents to tune in um, and just kind of new opportunities and new people, new faces uh, to teach us sort of how to dive in in this time um, and be more intentional in discipling our kids. And then the last thing is that there's a community opportunity. So I think one of the things that I'm sure we're all feeling is that loneliness, the, um, the distance between the people that we see at least every Sunday, if not more. Um, and so next Thursday on April 23rd from 1 to 4 p.m., we're going to do a social distance hike. So any families in Redemption are invited. Um, th this will all be in the email and also be included in the Spontaneous Sabbath Toolkit. Uh, but there's going to be, um, basically the idea of it is that we want all the families to get together, um, stay apart and get together. So be, um, we're going to meet at Buffalo Park anytime between 1 and 3. Just bring your family, go for a quick little walk. There will be a scavenger hunt in the email and on that, on that toolkit. Um, and then when you guys are at Buffalo Park, you'll be looking for some of those things on the scavenger hunt. And basically the, the idea is, is that if it's in that time frame, um, if you see another family for redemption, stop, say hi, keep your distance, um, but walk with them for a minute. Check in on how quarantine has been going, check in and make sure that we're doing well. Um, I think that the beautiful thing is that the outdoors isn't locked off. And so, um, yeah, we just really all want to be there in a, the same area, um, but from different like still keeping that, following the CDC recommendations, staying safe, all the good things. Um, so yeah, check out the email and the Spontaneous Sabbath for more information, but come join us. The other thing is, is that if you find me at Buffalo Park anytime between one and four, there is a small little treat. Um, there's something that we will have for you guys. So it'll be really fun. Uh, and that's that. So now we're gonna read The Tale of the Three Trees. Um, here you go, um, I hope you guys can see this. <laughs> So, once upon a mountaintop, three trees dreamed of what they wanted to become when they grew up. I want to hold treasure, the first tree said. I will be the most beautiful treasure chest in the whole world. Can you guys see that treasure chest right there? I want to be a strong sailing ship, the second tree said. I will be the strongest ship in the world. I don't want to leave this mountaintop at all, the third tree said. I want to grow so tall that when people look at me, they will raise their eyes to heaven and think of God. I will be the tallest tree in the world. One day, three woodcutters climbed the mountain. With a swoop of the first man's axe, the first tree fell. With a swish of the second man's axe, the second tree fell. And with a, slish, with a slash of the third man's axe, the third tree fell. The first tree rejoiced when the woodcutter brought him to a carpenter shop, but the busy carpenter was not thinking about treasure chests. Instead, his work-worn hands fashioned the tree into a feed box for animals. The second tree smiled when the woodcutter took him to a shipyard, but no mighty, sail no mighty sailing ships were built that day. Instead, the once strong tree was made into a simple fishing boat. The third tree was confused when the woodcutter cut her into strong beams and left her in a lumber yard. What happened, the once tall tree wondered. All I ever wanted to do was point to God. Many, many days and nights passed. The three trees nearly forgot their dreams. But one night, golden starlight poured over the first tree as a young woman placed her newborn baby in the feed box. And suddenly the first tree knew he was holding the greatest treasure in the world. 
One evening, a tired traveler and his friends crowded into the old fishing boat. When a storm arose, the second tree shuddered. But when the traveler stretched out his hand and said, peace, the storm, the storm stopped. And suddenly the second tree knew he was carrying the king of heaven and of earth. One Friday morning, the third tree was startled when her beams were yanked from the wood pile. She shivered when she was dragged through an angry crowd. She shuddered when soldiers nailed a man's hands to her. She felt ugly and harsh and cruel. But on a Sunday morning, when the sun rose and the earth trembled with joy beneath her, the third tree knew God's love had changed everything. It had made the first tree beautiful. It had made the second tree strong. And every time people thought of the third tree, they would think of God. That was better than being the tallest tree in the world. That is the tale of the three trees. Um, this was a choice from Anthony. Anthony G. chose it. It's one of his favorite stories. Um, and that is story time with Miss Jess. Um, I'm just going to take a minute and pray for us really fast. And then, um, yeah, I will see you guys on Sunday. And we'll go from there. Jesus, um, God, I just thank you for technology, Lord, for being able to check in and say hi uh, to the kids, even from a different location, even when I haven't gotten to see them in a while. Um, yeah, Jesus, I, I thank you for each of the kids, Lord. I pray that their time at home would just be, um, would be really f fun. It'd be a good time with parents and siblings, um, Lord, that they would learn more about you, talk to you more, and just have time to rest. Um, yeah, Jesus, I'm really thankful for you, for our families. Um, and just for this time, Lord, for growth. Yeah, and thank you just for who you are. Um, I pray as we go into this week, Lord, that we would just glorify you more, that we would seek you, um, and that we would find some time to, uh, to love each other, to, um, yeah, just to be close to you. It's your name, amen. Um, that's all I got for you. I'm now going to end this live stream, but we'll see you again next Wednesday for Story Time with Miss Jess. Story Time with Miss Jess. Oh, I can't reach the finish button and now I've turned the camera around.